Hi there, and welcome to 106 Consulting. Today we're going to look at setting up and assigning calendars to support a project's working days in Primavera P6 EPPM. So let's proceed with creating a new calendar. First of all, I'm going to close all. And then I'm going to open the Wellmont project. And then I'm going to go to the Administration tab. In the Administration tab, I'm going to select Enterprise Data. And then I'm going to select Projects, then Project Calendars, and hit the plus Add button. In the Select Calendar to copy from, I'm going to select the Corporate Standard Full-Time Calendar. And then for the name, I'm going to put in 4 by 10. This is going to be a 10 hour per day, 4 day work week. Save. Now for the standard work week, select the standard work week page. And they're going to be 10 hour days. So for Monday, I hold the mouse key over the end of the day and I drag to the 6. That makes Monday a 10 hour day. Same thing for Tuesday, drag. Wednesday, drag. Thursday, drag. And save. Now for Friday, I click on the X to remove it. So Friday's a non work day. And hit save. OK, so now we have our work week defined. Let's say now I want to specify a holiday. Click on the calendar page and then February 18th was President's Day, a holiday, so click on the 18. And go to the top and left click and say Non-Work and Save. Then if I go back to the month, I can see the 18th is now a holiday. If I wanted to make that a standard work day again, I click on the 18, go to the top, left click and say set to standard. Save. And click on the month. And now I see that the 18th is again a standard work day. So in addition to setting holidays, there's one more thing I want to do in the summary page. I want to set the time periods. Now the hours per year and hours per month, those are estimated values. But you definitely want the hours per week to be dead on 40 hours per week. And then setting hours per day is also very important. If I leave it as 8 hours per day and I work a 10 hour period on one day, every 8 hour period is going to be registered as one day. So if I work 10 hours on Monday, it's going to say I worked 1.25 days. Well, I don't want that. I want that 10 hour period to equal one day. So I'm going to change this 8 to a 10 and then save. So now every 10 hour day is one period. So if I work 10 hours on Monday, it's going to say I worked one day. Now, in addition to setting the time periods in the summary table, I also have to go to the application settings tab and then time periods. I want to verify that the hours per day for my time periods is 10 hours per day. This confirms that it is 10 hours per day. The reason why I want this to be 10 hours per day, if it was 8 hours per day, it would make the period increment for lags and resource assignments 8 hours per day. I want them to be 10 hours per day, so I just want to confirm that the hours per time period is set to 10 hours per day. 
OK, let's go back to the Enterprise data. So select the Enterprise data page. And there we are. OK, so now I have my calendar defined and I've verified that my hours per day for time periods is set to 10 hours per day. Now I want to assign this calendar to my project. So if I go to the Projects tab, Expand Enterprise, Expand ENC, Expand Electrical Projects, Select the Wellmont project and then left click on the gear and select Set Project Preferences. Now for the calendar, I hit the ellipse and I select 4x10 as the calendar. And now my project has a 4x10 calendar. I say OK. And there you have it. If you'd like to learn more about Primavera P6, then 106 offers some great online training courses. These courses are written by industry experts and offer you all the skills you need to get up and running as a P6 scheduler. For more information, visit our website at 106.com for full details on how to get started.